In this video, we're going to have a look at how you can lock or unlock selected actions on a request to provide greater control over your business process workflow. We start by looking at the actions across the top of the request and we can see here that the assignment action is available while the others are disabled. Viewing the process tracker, we can see that we are waiting for an owner to be assigned and the change to be validated. And a note in the timeline also lets us know about the lock. So next I'm going to assign myself as the owner and then accept it as being a valid change. We can now see that the access to the actions have changed, so I'm now able to provide manual updates, add attachments and assets, and set a schedule. Having the attachments available to me lets me continue with my next set of tasks, which might include adding an impact assessment and a backup plan by attaching these as documents. Once these are done, we're ready for the authorization. To ensure that nothing changes while waiting for the authorization, the details, attachments, and assets are all now locked. We continue by providing that authorization and we're now ready to schedule the change. Now at this point, the schedule action becomes available and we can set our dates, followed by having this locked down once completed. We are now left with the task of implementing this change. Once this is done, the action to allow us to resolve the request becomes available. Now there may be times when a locked action needs to be overridden. With the appropriate rights, select users are able to manually change if an action is locked or unlocked. We now switch over to the Business Process Workflow Designer to see how the locking and unlocking is configured. We start with the node where we have locked all but the assignment action. Further in our workflow, after the assignment and validation has taken place, we now unlock the actions required for the next step. 